Welcome back to another episode of Drink Tales. And today, we're taking a look at another bottle of liquor. Um, literally was looking through the liquor store and came upon this. It is called Tabernero uh, Pico Acolado. Pisco. Pisco Acolado. Um, what do we know about this? Well, as far as Pisco in general, you've had it before mm -hmm. in a Tales and a Cocktail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it was this one in particular, mm -hmm. but, you know, just to let you know, you tried Pisco. But the people that make this in general, they do more than just Pisco. They do various wines as well. Oh, okay. And this isn't even their only Pisco. There's like two or three more. Mm -hmm. It's just that the Acolado, Acolado, it's just one of many. Okay. Um, I did try looking up their website and socials and everything like that. Um, they do have a website, mm -hmm. which is why I know that they do uh, wines and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. The only thing is, uh, so this is interesting. They have various bottle designs for their piece gum. Okay. So like, while we got this, mm -hmm. like there are other designs, bottle designs that look completely different. You would think it's a different product, but actually it's the same product. Mm -hmm. So there's some confusion there. Um, and I'm not gonna lie, their website is one of those that I don't like where it's overly busy mm -hmm. and not flattering to look at much. Mm -hmm. But they do have information on there. They even show you a couple of cocktails they make with their stuff. Okay. Um, this is coming out of Peru, mm -hmm. in case anybody was, you know, curious about that. Right. So, and I believe this is the first piece that we ever done. This is our first time doing Pisco on this show. Okay. I know when I found it when I found it um, in the liquor store, I went to Towers. If you're in the Atlanta area, you know Towers. I went to the one in uh, Norcross and uh, it was next to uh, Kumbe. And another uh, that Aguardiente, is that how you pronounce it? It was, it was like in that, it was in that section. Mm -hmm. Um, so I assumed that it was one as well, but I'm thinking it was there. You no, know, Pisco is a is a whole different beast. Right, right, right. Um, but it does make sense that you found it next to Kumbay since you know the Kumbay and the, the uh, I believe Kumbay is Colombian, mm -hmm. if I remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the, all of that there, South America is in the same. Oh, so they put them based on region. Yeah, I wish they would have said that. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, uh forty percent alcohol by volume. Um doesn't really have much as far as uh like literature or information on the bottle, but they do have uh a lot of their credentials on here for a lot of the awards that they won. Uh these are international awards and I can't really see them. I need a micro a magnifying glass or I'm old. But um 2011, 2014, yeah, 2000 yeah. And, mm -hmm. 2007, 2006. Yeah, they won a lot of stuff. The Vinali Internationale in France. Yeah, they won a lot of stuff in Paris particularly. So um Coming from good stock, I would assume. Mm -hmm. And just for anybody that that's not aware, Pisco is a liquor or liqueur made from grapes. Oh, okay. So you know, like this isn't, this, which is which makes sense with you know the fact that they that uh, Tabanera also does wines, mm -hmm. so they just use the same products to make this spirit. Okay. Well, I would like to taste it, so let's let's get that going. Interesting taste. Um, interesting smell. You mean? Yeah, smell. I'm getting. It smells like a wine. 
So you so you got wine a uh, wine smell from it. Mm-hmm. Okay, I see it now. For me, at first, it was kind of a tequila y smell. I, I could I could see where you would think that. To me, it was it, it smelled like a a wine, like a like a, maybe a dark wine. of a rum so mm-hmm. to speak as far as taste goes like a rum but with a grape aftertaste yeah I want to hesitate to call it sweet but there is a sweetness there there is a, now they say this one in particular is good as an aperitif mm-hmm. and I can see why but it's pretty good like it's it's Almost like a flavorful rum. Mm-hmm. <coughs> what you thinking as far as a uh, cocktail? I'll be doing some research because I want to see what I can do, which means I'm gonna have to go to the flavor pairings and everything like that. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't want to like I want to do something that screams late, late summer, early fall. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't want to just do, like, oh, just do a, a, a sour, even though a pisco sour is a thing that actually exists. It's an iconic cocktail, so that's not happening. Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, you just do martini or uh, fucking uh, margarita. No, we're, we need to do something different. Like, what about a sangria? Mm, no. Sangria are made with wine. So, do your own spin with this. Mm, maybe, but I do see fruit. I do see, I, I do see, just based off the taste, I do see uh, something fruity, like a fruity cocktail. And I don't mean with like lemons and limes. I don't mean citrus. I mean like a lot of fruit. Whatever fruits are going to be used will be with the season and will be, I will pair them. Mm-hmm. I will use my flavor pairing guys to see what I can do. Okay. Because right now I get grapes mm-hmm. from this. So I'm going to start with grapes as the basis okay. and move from there. But it's going to be I I feel like I'm on a, a, a winning streak with a lot of the cocktails that I've made thus far mm-hmm. from stuff. Mm-hmm. So, you know. That's where we're going. All right, yeah, cause I see, I see a lot of, I see stuff like grapes and strawberries and stuff like that. That's 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 what I see as far as um, you definitely want to use uh fruits to um to match this with this spirit. Mm-hmm. And if you're using more than one spirit, I would. I would even be so bold and use wine. Maybe. I see where you're going at. Mm-hmm. Because you're thinking since it's made with wine. Mm-hmm. I mean, since the people that make this make wine as well. Mm-hmm. This should pair well with that wine. Mm-hmm. My only issue is... I think if I'm gonna do that, it has to be a specific wine, and more than likely their wine, Tabernero's wine. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if we have access to that to that here in the states, mm-hmm. because and the reason I say that is because this is made with specific grapes, same as the wines that they make. Mm-hmm. I would wanna, you know, make a. I would want to be able to um, be in sync with him. Exactly. I got you. Well, we'll figure something out. Um, 
be able to come up with some things. And I, I, I know you, you all you got to do is sit in the lab for a minute and you'll figure something out. Mm-hmm. But what do you rate this? I give this an 8.5. 8.5? Mm-hmm. A 7 for me. I didn't think it was shitty. I actually thought it was quite tasty. But I think it needed a bit more, in my opinion. I think it I think it works better paired with uh with So you're waiting stuff. so you're waiting to see it in a cocktail. Yeah, I'm waiting to, to see it in a cocktail. Okay. Um but right now I would probably give it a seven. Okay. Actually, we'll bump it up to seven and a half. We'll bump it up to seven and a half. Cause I don't you know, like I said, I think it's really good. It it has definitely earned its rewards. It's awards. Um but to me I think it would taste i think it's uh tastiness would go up i think it will work well in cocktails in my opinion i don't think this is something you drink straight up i mean they say you can oh yeah they if, say if you I mean you can if, like you can, if you really like the taste so mm-hmm. here's the thing if you really like the taste of any of these spirits you mm-hmm. can most definitely drink the majority of them alone yeah. by themselves. Yeah, I'm sure you can drink like sweet vermouth by yourself. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I, I wouldn't suggest so it, but I'm sure you probably mm-hmm. could. <laughs> so like that's a that's a, another discussion for another day. There is a I mean there are cocktails where sweet vermouth is the primary mm-hmm. or vermouth in general is the primary topic mm-hmm. or spirit as it were but mm-hmm. I mean yeah you save that for your martinis <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that's what I'm saying like you can you can pretty much drink anything straight up now whether you would want to or if it leans towards that is up to I guess how the drink is made mm-hmm. and 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 your taste buds mm-hmm. Like, like I said, I think this works better. I think you can be creative and make some good cocktails out of it. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't drink it. I do shots, but I wouldn't drink it yeah. like you wouldn't put it in a in a glass over ice. Exactly. And, like, exactly. So you would just shot it. And yeah. Like that. I do shots. I, mean, I don't really see the difference in that, other than you're getting it into your body a little bit faster than just yeah. sipping it. But. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, I, I'd rather, I'd rather, I think this is more uh, cocktail, cocktail leaning. Okay. But with that said, that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. Be sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that we're notified of all content that comes to the channel. Also check us out on Instagram, check us out on Twitter, check us out on Facebook. If you have a liquor, spirit, wine, liqueur, beer, some type of snack, dessert, brunch item, a recipe for a cocktail, or said uh, snack or food items. Let us know about it. Hit us up in our DMs. Mm-hmm. You know, let's talk about it, especially if you know the thing that you're offering is underappreciated. Maybe few people know about it. Maybe we can't get it in this state or country. That also goes for locations as well. Uh, breweries, bars, um, speakeasies, uh, restaurants, things of that nature. Any place that serves this or serves any other wine or liquor that this company makes, let us know about it. I wanna taste their wine, I'm curious. I wonder what their wine tastes like and if we can't find it in a liquor store, if there's a bar or restaurant or anything like that that's serving it, let us know so we can go and check it out. Mm-hmm. And that includes anything. If there's some, If there's some bar anywhere that serves the best drink or what you think is the best drink that's in your neighborhood or whatever, let us know. We want to be the judge of it. But that'll do it for this episode of Drink Tales. And until next time, everybody, peace.